crazy, crazy day Saturday night for UFC 278. What an incredible, crazy night. And I thought that would be the perfect weekend to start my new short episodes of podcast that it will be uh, basically me trying to explain everything that happened over last weekend's fights in five minutes or less <laughs> so let's get started victor altumarina defeats daniel lasarda via tko really really good fight that guy is gonna be fun to watch there's a lot of guys on this card that weren't uh super well known and they proved themselves a lot in this fight um apologies if i don't pronounce these names correctly uh quilling um Aur 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 uh, defeats Jerry Perrin via unanimous decision. Really good fight. What a war those two put on towards the end there. Really, really fun stuff. At, uh, Amir Albaziz submits French, uh, Francisco Figueroa, brother of uh, flyweight champion da well, yeah, flyweight champion Davidson Figueroa via um, uh, rear naked choke. Incredible fight. R did very, very well. Um, Angi Lusa defeats AJ Fletcher via unanimous decision. A really good back and forth fight. Um, I thought Fletcher was going to finish him in the second round, but just kind of gassed himself out. But really, really fun fight. Sean Woodson versus Luis uh, Saldana. Sean Woodson and him go to a draw. Uh, Saldana had him hurt in that first round, could have finished the fight, but threw in a legal knee. Uh, which ended up costing him a point and cost him the win instead of the draw. Jared Gordon, a very impressive win versus Leonardo Santos. That brings him to uh, winning four out of his last five fights against a very tough opponent who is a multiple, I believe, seven-time world jiu-jitsu champion. So hats off to that guy right there. And Martin Tybura versus Alexander Romanoff. Uh, Tybura gets the majority decision win. A lot of people, including myself, had Alexander Romanoff winning that fight. I thought it was really close. I gave Tybura the last round, but I had uh, Romanoff the uh, first two rounds. And that brings us already to the main card. Tyson Pedro versus Harry Hunsucker. A f really, really quick night at the office for those two. Tyson Pedro gets it done in the first round with a nasty with a nasty jab followed by a, a really good teep to the body that just hurt him, put him down, wasn't able to keep going. Lucy Lucia Pudilova versus uh, Yanin Wu. Uh, TKO vicious elbows by Pudilova. She's one of my favorite fighters to watch. She got kicked out of the UFC her first fight back. She had a crazy fight versus Irene Aldana a few years ago. You should go check that out if you haven't, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's just an absolute savage. And then Marab versus Jose Aldo. Unforceable, unfortunately, Jose didn't get it done. Just, uh, I don't know why people think he should retire or sell all those comments on Instagram the last couple days. Not the last couple days, but you know, over the last few hours since the fights last night. But he looked okay. Just Marab out wrestled him and neutralized him a little bit. And Marab's a tough guy. You could see him easily becoming champion one day. Paulo Costa versus Luke Rockhold. What an absolute war those two put on. It was sloppy. It was fun. It was bloody. Just an incredible fight. Luke retires at the end of it. And, hey, man, he hats off to that guy. He's been out for three years. I think since the, I think the last time he fought was uh, Jan Blahovic back in 2019. So it's been quite a while. And to see him still be in there um, doing the damn thing versus one of the absolute best fighters in the world is incredible. Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman. Guys, I had Leon Edwards winning by knockout, but I only did that because it was going to give me a big payout, which it did. Uh, I did not see Leon winning that fight. Um, that first round was super interesting. Leon was able to get a trip and put Kamu uh, Usman on his back. It was the first time he's ever been technically taken down um, in the UFC. And... Kamaru didn't really get, do a good job getting back up. He ended up getting his back taken and was just hand fighting for the remainder of the round, which was super interesting. Lost the other three rounds and just got caught by that incredible, incredible left high kick. Set it up beautifully through that jab out there and through the, the left high kick right, right behind it. Landed flush. One of the best knockouts we've ever seen. Hey, I think we did it, guys. That's it. 
Um, this will be a new series I do. If you guys want to hear more about the break uh, breakdown of the card, um, I have a podcast. Listen to that. It's everywhere. It's Spotify. I'll probably be putting it on YouTube soon as well. But thank you so much. I appreciate you guys tuning into the first episode. Might be a little rocky, but hey, we're still testing things out. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for listening. Oh, make sure like, subscribe, all that stuff. First video on YouTube other than my shorts. So I'd appreciate that. Thank you guys.